Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Friday afternoon of July the 1st, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Races from three tracks this afternoon, folks. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for their race aid feature, 4.45 p.m. Eastern post time. This is the Sky Beauty Stakes, eight and a half furlong route test on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, three years old and up, racing for a purse of some $60,000. Tenders number four, our Betty Grable, number two, ha Happy Week, <clears throat> number five, Satan's Quick Chick, and number three, Ask the Moon. Number four, our Betty Grable, takes a class drop of three track master units this afternoon. Both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this stakes field racing at her about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt has posted a trio of power run wins in her last five starts. Number two, Happy Week, also drops in class, has hit the board in four of her last five, but three of those efforts, including a win in her fourth race back, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Johnny Velasquez and trainer Todd Pletcher sent him to the post for the Friday feature. They've hit the board with 56% of more than 400 entries saddles the team to date. Race 8 summary, number 4, our Betty Grable, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 2, Happy Week, number 5, Satan's Quick Chick, and number 3, Ask the Moon. 4253 in the 8th today from Belmont Park, the $60,000 Sky Beauty Stakes. Churchill Downs in Kentucky next, race 5, 6.56 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 5 furlong sprint on the turf, 3-year-olds and up racing for $65,200. Contenders number 4, Crystal Moment, number 8, King Post, number 1, City Cool, and number 5, Bergerac. Number four, Crystal Moment, is the overall speed and pace profile leader in this allowance field, sprinting at tonight's distance of five furlongs on the turf. Has hit the board in four straight starts with his last three efforts, including back-to-back -back wins in his last two outings, also qualifying as power runs. Number eight, King Post, a four-to-one shot. is undefeated in two-race career to date, winning both in power run fashion. Jockey Jesus Castanon was in his irons for his maiden breaker, back today for his second ride gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Race 5 summary, number 4, Crystal Moment, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 8, King Post, number 1, City Cool, and number 5, Bergerac, 4815 in the 5th from Churchill Downs. Let's go to Monmouth Park in New Jersey next, race 7, 3.56 p.m. Eastern Post time, 6 furlong sprint on the dirt, Phillies and mares, 3 years old, and up race for a claiming prize of $30,000. Contenders number four, Honor M, number three, Stanford Dolly, number two, Cat's Got Legs, and number one, The Cat's Meow. Number four, Honor Him, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by nine Trackmaster units, excellent early and overall speed. Abilities to complement for this sprint has produced a quartet of power runs in her last five, hitting the board in three of those adventures, including a power run win facing better company in her third race back. Jockey Paco Lopez and trainer Scott Volks end her post for this afternoon. They've hit the board with an impressive 70% of their entry saddled as a team to date. Number three, Stanford Dolly has produced power run performances in four straight, hitting the board in three, including a power run win in her fourth race back. Race 7 summary, number 4, Honor Him, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3, Stanford Dolly, number 2, Cat's Got Legs, and number 1, Decat's Meow, 4-3-2-1 in the 7th from Monmouth Park. Bonus long shots, Finger Lakes, race 6, the 5-1 to one shot, number 4, Zip of Fools, drops in class by 9 units, has hit the board in power run fashion in 3 of her last 4 starts, winning in both her second and fourth races back, which, of course, is indicative of a bounce pattern, folks. The bounce will be up positive this afternoon if this pattern continues. Charlestown, racing tonight, race four, entry number four. Al Katas, four to one in the morning line, drops in class by nine units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field, sprinting at today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from Belmont Park, Churchill Downs, and Monmouth Park on a Friday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.